I'm Jody Ramirez. I'm a physical therapist here at Chief Freddy and Associates. I'm going to be talking to you guys about pregnancy and exercise today. There are a ton of benefits to exercising while you are pregnant, but it can be difficult to know what is safe and what is not. I'm going to show you some that I recommend. Keep in mind you should consult your doctor or PT if you have any underlying complications. For more background information on safety, warning signs, benefits, and recommendations, check out the article at giafreddy.com. So let's start with glute bridges with hip abduction using a mini band. First, I want you to make sure you're tucking your tailbone under, making sure that you're just using your glutes and trying not to overextend through your back. Keep your feet and your knees pointing in the same direction by maintaining tension on the band throughout the move. Now let's try glute bridges with hip adduction using a pillow or a Pilates ring. Keep the feet and knees pointing in the same direction while at the same time squeeze the legs together against the pillow or the Pilates ring throughout the exercise. Another great exercise to keep your hips strong and stable during pregnancy is fire hydrants with a mini band. Start on all fours with a band around the tops of your knees. Keep your back flat and lift one leg out to the side at a time. Be careful not to roll your entire body, just move the legs only. Now in the same position you are in for the fire hydrants, you can do hip extensions as well. Make sure not to arch your back, just lift the leg up while squeezing the glutes maximally. It's important to engage your abs as much as you can. Make sure that you tuck the tailbone under, keeping the back flat. Make sure you're just extending at the hips and not in your back. Around the world reaches with mini band. Start by placing a mini band around your ankles and standing. Slightly bend the knee and hinge at the hips while reaching in various directions. You will be challenging your standing leg as well as the leg that's reaching away from your body. Be sure to pay attention to your knee position. Make sure it's staying in line with your toes. Shift some of your weight back into your heels so that you're decreasing some pressure on your knee. Sit to stands with mini band. Use a dowel or a stick for biofeedback to make sure that your back is staying straight. Start with your feet hip width apart. Always keep the knees in line with your toes. If you're looking for more of a challenge, you can try staggered stance with one foot in front of the other. Wall squats. Use a ball or just slide directly on the wall. Keep your feet a little wider than hip width apart and knees in line with your toes. Squat to about 90 degrees or lower if you have the ability in your hips. Another great exercise is bird dogs. Start on all fours, keep your hands directly under your shoulders and your knees directly under your hips. Alternate arm and leg extension while keeping hips level and your back flat. Tighten your belly by pulling your belly button up towards the ceiling. Keep your head in line with your spine by tucking your chin in and retracting your head towards the ceiling. Careful not to drop the hips side to side or arch your back during this exercise. If you're looking for a challenge with the bird dog, try adding a soft cushion under the knee. This will make this exercise less stable and more challenging, as well as you can try adding a resistant band as shown in the video. Thank you for watching. If you have any specific questions, please give us a call.